So John, it's been six days since the Halifax game and we've got another four until the Featherston game. How much of the extra few days in training has benefited you over the last few days? Yeah, it's certainly benefited us. You know, we've been able to really have a good look at the Halifax game uh, and, and learn from that. Uh, it was obviously very disappointing, but I think even that's got to be put into context. Uh, the fact we played the last 25, I know we would 13 on the field, they had 12, but they had a full range of interchanges throughout the game. We didn't have a player to put on in the last 25 minutes uh, until we patched Tom Doyle up and banged him back, back out there, but he shouldn't have gone out there anyway for Sammy Kabula. So we just couldn't make any change in that last quarter and that's obviously when they got us. And uh, so you've got to really look at the reasons behind it uh, and obviously learn from that. And obviously the, the big learning thing from that is that uh, you do need some bench if not all the bench, in order to keep changing the, the bigger guys in the middle. It looked a bit like a scene from Holby City in the changing room at times, and there's a lot of people struggling with knocks and stuff at this stage of the season. How challenging is it, you know, getting a team out there who are robust enough to be able to deal with that? It's very challenging, and, you know, the, the Leeds thing hasn't worked out at the minute because obviously they've had their own problems and their own injuries and suspensions. I mean, they've already been able to name a 20-man squad for their game this weekend, so that hasn't helped. But obviously, I mean, I, I brought this in, uh, Luke, so that I, I don't forget anybody, but, you know, there's Dan Fleming with the torn peck, there's Reese Evans, who's, who's ill and he's seen a neurologist, Ant Walker with his knee, Billy Jow with his calf and ankle, George Flanagan thumb, Sam Scott knee, Chester Butler torn quad, and Evan Skur with a HIA. And we've got three reserves as well, not, not available through injury, as well as two doubts, who I don't want to name because I don't want them targeting should they come through and put the hand up to play. So there's an injury list of 11 plus two doubts. So we're doing it really tough, uh, but we feel we're good enough to cope with that. And we feel as if we could put a great performance in this week and then obviously start building the season from that. A considerable challenge obviously with Featherston Rovers the visitors on Monday it seems like there's a group of players who were determined to get back out there and although short maybe on numbers certainly not short on morale and you know the hunger to get back out there and put some pride in the shirt. I, I've been really pleased how, how they've, they've coped with it all to tell you the truth because uh, it's easy to blame and point fingers and criticise uh, it ain't so easy to come together and to work hard and to support each other, but I've been absolutely delighted what the uh, the playing group have done, and uh, I'm certain that will be demonstrated on on Monday against Featherston. And I'm just looking forward to when we get some troops back and we can the Leeds dual red thing can really hit hit the straps. That I think will be a formidable team. But at the minute it's tough. We're doing it tough, and uh, we've got to accept that. But we'll come through that, and we'll make sure that uh, the season as a whole is a success. With Featherston Monday night. Lily Centurion's also visit on Monday night. Two real heavyweights in the division. Are you looking for a repeat performance, a repeat, you know, manner of how the lads go out there? I'm, I, what I'm looking for, I'm looking for effort levels. You know, we need to make sure that we we beat Featherson with our effort levels. Uh, and you know, they've got some absolute quality players. I mean, we've watched their their last three games. Bartley were really good against them. After they got 50 put on them, then the week after they came up with a draw, so they really learned their lessons. Uh, Sheffield challenged them at times, but they absolutely creamed uh, Barrow, you know, at, the, at last, last Good Friday. And they played some really good stuff. And the, the concerning thing for any opponent is how well that Riley Jacks is playing at halfback. It really does look NRL standard, no doubt about that. And obviously, they've got quality right throughout the team, so. We know full well that we'll have, we'll have a challenge on and, you know, within the camp at Featherston, someone said they've got two teams who could win the championship and uh, when you look at the squad, it, it's hard to argue against that. And just finally, despite all the obstacles that are in the way at the minute with the injuries, the challenge of the opponent on Monday night, it's a challenge that surely everyone should relish and it's a team, you know, we want to get to where they are, so it's a good marker. Oh, yeah, it's great, yeah, it is. I mean, in all honesty, uh, it's quite a relief to tell the truth because you know for a while you can get out there and you can get your baseball back and have a free hit so you know it's it's quite a relief so and that's how we're looking at it as, as a group of uh, of staff and a, a group of players so that we're going to go out there we're going to do ourselves uh, justice and we're really going to work very very hard indeed and should we do that we might give ourselves half a chance